Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2024 virtual Mark Allen Everett Skin of Color Symposium. I am just so excited uh, that you've chosen to join us virtually for this educational stimulating event. And I want to share my screen. I have just a couple of slides. that we will go over and uh, understand our purpose. All right. Does everyone see that? Okay. So uh, our mission is fivefold when it comes to this skin of color symposium. We want to uh, first promote awareness of the unique features of this of skin of color. Secondly, we want to provide a virtual forum to exchange valuable information regarding ethnic skin and cultural competence. Number three, we also want to educate healthcare providers, trainees, students, and also estheticians and cosmetologists, and even hair professionals about dermatologic diseases in skin of color. Wanting to make sure, is this in presenter mode? Okay, good. Okay, let me make sure I can swap and duplicate. Maybe that'll be helpful. Okay, and so the uh, number four, we want to develop cultural competence as it relates to dermatology. There's so much that we can discuss uh, just even in and outside of dermatology. Um, and we will discuss some topics of those even uh, today. And number five, we want to expose attendees to nationally recognized experts in dermatology. This is actually uh, our fifth year. Uh, we skipped a year because of COVID, but the first two years, it started in 2018, this symposium, and uh, we had it in person. And so the first row are those who uh, spoke. And then in 2019, we also held it in person. And then COVID happened. So in 2020, we did not have uh, a meeting in person and we pivoted to a virtual platform, uh, which we have continued today um, because of its far reaching effect across the nation and internationally. And so in 2021, we had our first virtual panel of speakers. And then 2022, uh, these are all of our speakers and panelists. And then last year, uh, these are uh, the guest speakers and panelists that we had. And so um, we have a wonderful speaker lineup for you this year, and uh, you'll, you'll be in for a treat. It's a, extremely important that we acknowledge a special sponsor, and that is um, the Everett Family Affiliated Fund of the Oklahoma City Community Foundation. Uh, this is in honor of Dr. Mark Allen Everett, who uh, was a former chair of the University of Oklahoma uh, Department of Dermatology. He was also the past president of the American Board of Dermatology and the American Society of Dermatopathology, a true giant in the field. And uh, we celebrate him, his passion for academic excellence and respect for cultural awareness in dermatology. And it was the family's desire to support uh, an enduring quality educational program with national reach, uh, hence this 
uh, birthed the Mark Allen Everett Skin of Color Symposium. We also uh, want to thank other sponsors who have been dedicated to this program, uh, including um, the Office of Access and Community Engagement of the OU College of Medicine, as well as Dr. Uh, Pfefferbaum, Dr. Richard Van Horn, and Dr. Rose Pfefferbaum. Thank you all. And again, I say welcome. Uh, there are a few housekeeping things I need to state. Uh, this meeting is approved for seven AMA uh, PRA Category 1 credits, as well as seven ANCC nursing credits, contact hours, and non-physician credit, which is accepted by most healthcare licensing and credentialing organizations. So in order to receive credit, those who have actually registered, uh, you have to record your attendance. And we can put it in the chat just to make sure everyone is aware. You text 13545 to 405-562-5828. And we'll make sure that that gets into the chat um, by one of our uh, uh, members uh, on the planning committee. And that just needs to be recorded once. But to receive credit, you will have to uh, complete the evaluation uh, that will be available in your cloud CME account and on the phone app at the end of the conference. So the code is also posted in the housekeeping slides that will be running um, uh, through the uh, intermission times and also in the chat box. Uh, if you have questions, please pose them in the chat box. Um, you view announcements there and view questions that you have been posted. Uh, at the end of each speaker presentation, um, we will have a, a chat monitor who will ask the questions uh, to the speaker regarding their presentation at the end. We ask that you keep muted at all times. Please do not share the Zoom link to this symposium. Registration is closed. Uh, so take this time now for those who have registered to uh, record your attendance. And uh, at the end, you can provide feedback as well as complete the evaluation. Um, I just want to say thank you for all of the planning committee, all of the residents, the, even the students who have been involved in this program. Uh, I want to say a, a special thank you to our continuing professional development office as well. Um, I just want uh, you all to tell us in the chat, where are you? Uh, listening in, where are, uh, are you now in, in the United States or abroad? Tell us uh, what location are, are, have you joined us from? Also, I would like to know if you have more than one person with you joining in uh, in a group. And so put how many people, including yourself, are uh, joining in on your Zoom link. Thank you for doing that. We appreciate uh, your participation throughout the event. So without further ado, I want to introduce to you a very special person, uh, Dr. Robert Salinas. He is the Assistant Dean um, for uh, Access and community engagement in the College of Medicine. And he's also a family uh, practitioner, uh, geriatrician in hospice and palliative care as well, uh, a very good friend and confidant. I am so glad that he has been a staunch supporter of this programming um, and its growth. And I'd like for him to give uh, just greetings to you. Thank you. 
Pam, thank you so much. Can you hear me okay? Yes? Turn your volume up just a tad. Okay. How about now? That's fine. Great. Thank you so much. Well, good morning, everyone. And on behalf of the University of Oklahoma College of Medicine, again, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you uh, from wherever you're joining. I know this conference started out locally, regionally, nationally, and now internationally. So we're very excited to have you here. Um, you just heard some kind words from my good friend and colleague, Dr. Pamela Allen, and I like to really um, thank her and her team for putting this wonderful conference together. I also like to thank members from the continuing professional education team for working steadfastly to make this event happen. Uh, this is an important event. We know that events like this, symposiums like this help us deliver better care to our patients, more specifically uh, those who are experiencing dermatological conditions. Not too long ago, I gave a lecture to our medical students and talked about the importance of understanding culture and the aspects of healthcare and healthcare delivery. And we did talk about healthcare disparities, including some of the challenges that we have with maternal health, uh, with heart failure, and also with skin conditions. And I shared with our medical students how important it is to really understand what is happening out there with regards to some of these healthcare inequities and gaps. But in doing so, I learned a little bit more about melanoma. And melanoma is a skin cancer, as we all know, that in terms of proportion may not affect people of color as much. However, when it is detected and diagnosed, it's often in a very, very advanced state. And what I also learned was that um, when we look at clinical trials, the number of patients who participate in clinical trials using these new immunotherapies, such as checkpoint inhibitors, less than 1% of people who participated in these clinical trials were people of color who had been affected with melanoma. So we have to do better. We know that the healthcare disparities are out there. Conferences and symposiums like this help us become more knowledgeable where we can apply this knowledge to better care for our patients, better diagnosis, better treatment, and yes, better enrollment in clinical trials to have better representation with regards to how patients respond to treatment. So the collective purpose for this morning is for all of us to gain more knowledge and use this knowledge to apply it in the care of our patients who again, experience inequities and sometimes uh, because of lack of knowledge, uh, those inequities often lead to some more challenging experiences for our patients and their families. So this symposium is important. And once again, I'd like to thank you for being here today and enjoy the symposium. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Dr. Salinas. I appreciate that so much. And I have just one other special person that I wanted to have uh, a warm greetings, and that is Dr. Valerie Williams. Uh, Dr. Valerie Williams um, is University of Oklahoma Presidential Professor, also the Vice Provost for Academic Affairs and Faculty Development. Um, she is also a member of the Belonging and Inclusivity Committee here at the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center and uh, so many more. She's uh, extremely involved with AAMC, was the chair of their executive uh, committee board. And I tell you, she has uh, a, a special place in my heart as uh, just a professional mentor in my career. And so I thank her today for being here. Thank you, Dr. Allen. It's just, it's wonderful to be able to join you all this morning and just bring uh, a couple of brief remarks of welcome. I'm, I, I wish you a good morning, uh, wherever you are in the in Oklahoma, in the United States or around the world. And I'm just so appreciative that you've all joined the symposium today on uh, skin of color. It's really an honor to be in front of a, a 
diverse and dedicated group of healthcare professionals, residents, fellows, aestheticians, students, um, hair care specialists, all of the folks who actually make life uh, livable, enjoyable uh, in the world for in helping people resolve questions and problems that they have about their skin, their hair care, their well-being, uh, and, and making it possible to do that in whatever environment we find ourselves. As a, you know, as a senior faculty member here at the university, one of the things I've had an opportunity to do is to really become deeply engaged in serving our communities. And for me, I get to work with individuals with special health care needs and disabilities um, and, and their families. And this work has really given me a chance to appreciate firsthand the importance for our clients and our patients of being seen and heard as they are in the skin they live in every day and with the lived experiences that they have every day. And, and seeing people clear, clearly, hearing their concerns, and most importantly, appreciating the context of the concerns that they bring forward and how best we um, can intervene to improve an outcome for them. That's a big part of ensuring equitable access to quality of care for all people. You know, too often people from communities of color or who have um, some differences from whatever the majority might be in their surround, they, they experience disparities that um, affect their ability to move forward in life and to be, be as successful as they wanna be, to be able to engage fully in the world that we have in front of us. So today through this symposium um, and what you all bring to the table by your attention and your questions, what our great speakers are bringing to the table with their insights, we're all going to take a significant step forward in rectifying that imbalance that's out there. I, I was reminded when Dr. Allen invited me to do this of, of a, a story, I, um, and you may have heard this story, but this happened with my with my grandfather and I. He took me to the beach when I was a little kid, and um, we got there just after sunrise. He was an early riser, and there were starfish all over the beach, these beautiful, amazing, vibrant colors of, of these little five-legged creatures, and some of them were moving around, whatever, and it was clear that as the sun came up, things were not going to be good. Um, all of these starfish were not going to survive, and he picked one up, and he admired it and threw it back in the ocean, and I, you know, I'm a kid. I did what my grandfather did, picked one up, looked at it, and threw it back in the ocean, and I said, you know, there, gosh, there's so many, and he said, yeah, but for everyone that we admire, and we appreciate the beauty that they are, and we get them back to their natural state, they will do well. They'll survive. They will do well. And I and that stuck with me. And there's a whole little parable about that that some of you may have heard growing up. And I just I just appreciated so much that how vibrant we can be we're in we're in the right light and in the right environment, and how much this conference around skin of color is really about that. It's helping people be their vibrant selves, get back to a state of health, be in a state of wellness, no matter where they enter the service um, system as a client, as a patient, as a, a friend that needs direction to the right place, how important it is to get to people who can care for and care about us and get us back on that path to health. So I extend my very heartfelt gratitude to the organizers, to Dr. Allen, to all of the people who helped bring this conference together today. I, my thanks to our esteemed speakers for what they will offer from their expertise and perspective. My thanks to all of you for attending my gratitude from the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences, because it is so important that we have the power to make a, that profound impact on the lives of individuals with all the lovely shades of skin of color that grace our world, ensuring that they receive the care and intention that they deserve. Uniquely beautiful starfish are we all, and we bring vibrancy to our world in this remarkable ocean of humanity that we are. So thank you, and let us get started in, by embarking on that journey of learning together today. Thank you, Dr. Allen, for having me with you today. I much greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Williams. Uh, such a pleasure that you're with us today.